Well, lately I've been working a lot on uh, jQuery tutorials and getting ready to move into uh, jQuery mobile, uh, making client-side web applications. But a lot of times you're going to need a little bit of uh, server-side, which uh, when it comes to server-side, the great thing about server-side is uh, if you're the administrator on the server, uh, you can use whatever you want for uh, server-side uh, scripts and programs. You can use uh, Bash, PHP, Perl, Python. You can even write stuff in C if you want. It's, it's all up to you. Uh, but in most cases, when it comes to server-side stuff, it's usually going to be a scripting language rather than a compiled binary language like C. Um, but uh, I uh, tend to use PHP a lot. And to be honest, lots of times I'll use PHP and... Um, uh, and bash together. And I'm trying to get better at PHP rather than blending two languages together. Not necessarily that that's wrong, but it can get a little sloppy. So uh, what I'm going to be doing here over the next couple of weeks is putting out uh, quick tip little things on tutorials here um, that uh, just basic stuff in PHP. And um, so here we go. The first one is we're just going to learn to read a file line by line. Uh, I know I've done tutorials on PHP in the past. I did just a few a couple of years ago. I don't even remember what I went over. So we're just going to start with some basic stuff here. Um, I'm not going over how to install PHP. Plenty of tutorials out there. If you have a website hosted with uh, many hosts, it's usually enabled or enabled by a check. Uh, if you're trying to get set up on your local machine, uh, it's in your repositories. Just install Apache and PHP and you should be good to go. So anyway, this is uh, a file on my local computer here. If I click name list, it has a list of names. It's just a text file. Uh, down here in the terminal, I'm in the same folder. I can cat out that file, names.list. And we got names right here. And um, so now we're just going to create our PHP file, which is um, Basically, it will replace, if you have PHP running on your server, it will replace your HTML. You can still have HTML files, but if I was to do, just as an example, uh, vim, and I'll just call this read.php, since we'll be reading our text file. And I was to come in here and I was to just put h1 hello world. Close that. So it's basic HTML. Save that refresh up here and I'll click on read PHP and you can see it works just like uh, a regular HTML file but I can also add in PHP tags here and anything inside these tags will actually be PHP scripts so I can say echo hello world and each line has to end with a semicolon I'll save that run that and you can see uh, if we were to look at the code here, that's what this outputs. Uh, and we can also, if we want to put some HTML code in our PHP code with the echo. So basically echoing out that will now make that bold. So that's just a quick little intro. And now we're going to go into uh, reading files from, or lines from a file. And uh, what we're going to do here is inside our PHP code here, we're going to create an object. We're going to say, I'll call it lines equals, and then we're going to use a function called file. Remember, each line has to end with a semicolon. And within the parentheses here, we're going to pass the name of the file we want to read, which if we look at our files here, our names.list is what we want to read. So I'm going to say names.list and make sure that that's uh, within either single or double quotes. Um, and now we have an object, basically an array at this point called lines. Now we want to read each line or each item within that array. So we're going to say for each, all one word, parentheses, and then inside the parentheses, we're going to give it our array, which in this case is lines, and then as, and then what we want to call the variable uh, that we're going to use within this loop, because this is going to be a for loop for each. So I'm going to say dollar sign, and let's call it name, because we know each line within this text file is a name. We're going to give it uh, squiggly braces here, curly braces, curly brackets, whatever you want to call it. 
And then here we're going to say echo. And we are going to, for each line, or each item in the array, dollar sign name. And here you're going to want to use double quotes, because single quotes would uh, make that uh, not a variable. Uh, so we're almost done here. We'll save that. And if we go back into our read.php, you'll see it outputted the names, but it output them all on one line. Let's control U and look at the code. They're all on different lines there. But if you're familiar with HTML, which I should have said at the beginning, you really should know basics of HTML before moving on to a server-side uh, scripting language. Um, that uh, HTML does not recognize white spaces or new line characters. You've got to give it a tag of a new line. So I'll come in here and I'll say um, break. And now, if we F5, we've got a list. And of course, uh, as I said earlier, you know we're working with it like it's HTML. So we can start outside of our PHP and we can say, uh, give it a UL out here, close this. And then instead of a line break, we can say li for list, oops, and li for list there. So now instead of just printing them on uh, each on a new line, we are going to refresh this, and you can see they're in a list format, which is something we're going to do a lot with our jQuery mobile once we get into those tutorials. So that is reading a file line by line. Uh, this is the first in my new series on PHP. I hope you enjoyed it, and a um, bunch more of these coming over the next couple of weeks, and there's going to be short little tutorials like this one. In fact, the next one is going to be almost identical. <laughs> You'll wait and see that, and uh, that will be a next tutorial. So be sure to uh, check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. Also, if I did not forget, there should be an annotation to this entire playlist. Obviously, at the time of uploading this video, there's only one video on that playlist. But as I post more, that playlist will be added to. So be sure to check out that annotation. Once again, if I didn't forget to put it there. Um, if, and if you're liking these tutorials on PHP, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment, let me know. Because um, uh, server-side scripts are important in a lot of cases. So, And you'll see that as we start making full applications with uh, jQuery. And then uh, in a lot of cases, we'll be using PHP as a server-side script. So thank you for watching. And I hope that you have... A great day.